makaiwas yung ating mga kasangbahay. First po, we need to restore yung protective barrier of the skin. So, paano dapat hindi sobrang dry? Bihira po, uh, wag po tayo masyadong matagal maligo pagka may attack yung sensitive skin natin. No? Mm. Yung, 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 parang may flare up tayo. Dapat na siguro 10 minutes or less mabilisan lang and then do not use a uh, hot bath o kaya very cold. Very hot. Mm-hmm. Yung hot bath kasi, bukod sa it can like uh, cause some burning, uh, syempre nakaka-dry up pa siya lalo ng skin, ano. And then kapag sobrang dry, gan- sobrang malamig din, ganun din, ba? Kaya nga, ba, usually, nag-chop yung mga lips, pati yung mga mm-hmm. kamay natin na, na, na how do I say that, nagtutuklap-tuklap pag malamig. So dapat yung gitnang temperature mm-hmm. lang, and then mabilisan, and then, okay, Pagka nag nag dry up tayo using towels, dapat pat dry lang, no? Hindi pa pwedeng uh, ni rub kasi yung mga excess oils lalong mawawala. And then habang ano pa siya, very moist pa, that's a good timing para mag-apply tayo ng lotion natin. So some get right. something with a uh, VCO is okay, shea butter it's really maganda, no? Yun. So, and then, kung whatever you have na kunyari, sakto talagang uh, may, masyadong makate, pwedeng mag apply ang ating mga kasangbahay ng, uh, yun yan, ng lotion and then pwede rin din silang uh, kung di ma-relieve sa mga moisturizers that contain urea or lactic acid yung iba instead of them scratching it pwede na pong bigyan ng oral antihistamine for the itchiness and then pwede din pong yung iba, minsan kasi kami nagpa-prescribe na kami ng topical steroid kung, kung pero mild lang naman if talagang instead na magsugat na no, dahil kakakamot ng patient no mm-hmm. apart from that dapat ang ginagamit na na tela talaga, either yung soft, very fine cotton or silk, yan ang maganda. No? We do not use yung mga uh, makapal na tela, which is actually rough. No? Magagaspang. Uh, magagaspang, no, yon And then make sure, uh, hindi ta exposed yung katawan natin sa extreme heat or cold. No? But dito naman tayo, we live kasi in a tropical country. Eh. Mm-hmm. Yun, uh, Just so sanay na. <laughs> Oo, sanay na, yun. And then apart from that, we have to shy away from uh, mga products na talagang sobrang mabango. Pero actually, ako guilty ako dyan, Angel and Rina. Gusto ko masarap, 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 masarap kasi amo yun. Oo, yung pagkapaligo mo, ba Parang, hmm, bang Pero having mo. said that, Doc. Oh. I'm sorry. Having said that, having said that, Doc, uh, with so, so many unfamiliar skincare products, paano ba natin malalaman na o paano natin matitest na o itong nga certain uh, skincare product that I would like to try eh, sensitive ako dito or kung baga baka mag-allergy ako. How, how... Okay, first, we have, and I would like to educate our viewers na not necessarily may nakalagay na ha- hypoallergenic, eh talagang hypoallergenic siya. Mm-hmm. Kasi pwedeng, it may be hypoallergenic to some, but of course, di ba, uh, tawag nito, iba-iba kasi yung allergens po, no? Uh, sadly, mm-hmm. minsan talaga mm-hmm. nag-claim sila. Probably, okay, uh, some companies who claim that their products are hypoallergenic kasi binawasan nila yung mga fragrances and other mga preservatives mm-hmm. which have, ano, parang been proven oh. to be very harsh to the skin. Mm-hmm. Now, syempre talagang, ano eh, we have to test uh, and try yung mga products prior to uh, no, to using them for long. Okay, like, for example, bibili ka, ano ko bagong product to? So, hindi mo siya test talaga right away. Ito, kasi yung skin natin, y- saka yung dito, yung medial aspect of our arm sa loob po, no, dito, pag medyo nag-cause ng pangangate mm-hmm. and ng mula, so chances are, mas malaki ang reaction yan sa face. So, of course, yun, itry muna po nila dun sa small part. So, maganda kung kunyari, magbibili po tayo sa mga uh, supermarket kits. Meron naman po mga testers doon, di ba? Kaya ako, I usually go for products that, you know, have testers uh, on the shelves para at least to make sure na matatry muna. And then pag bata po, eh, wala talaga tayong choice. Siguro get some products which are actually formulated uh, for the for the kids talaga, di ba? Like meron naman isa na yung mga very strong perfumes. Totoo. Kasi for example, yung mga fragrances natin, meron kasi yung mga alcohol content. It's where these fragrance oils are sus- being suspended. Like kapag cologne, mababa lang ang alcohol, ang per, uh, perfume grade alcohol niya, it's around 2 to 8 percent, no? So di ba may mga auditory lay, meron na parfum, okay? So yun po. Kaya pag bata, mas okay po talaga yung, ano, yung uh, cologne lang muna para yung alcohol content niya would be 2 to 8 uh, uh, percent lang po. And then kasi pagka iba, it can reach up to like 30% ng alcohol kapag ka, uh, mas mabango po pag parfum talaga, di ba? Kaya Ito. nga, oo, kaya siguro, yung kids, we can just like reapply and then avoid na lang po yung mga uh, maninipis na area and sensitive areas of the of the body like here po sa back ng ears, no, di ba? Nakakasugat po yan dito, no? Dito sa may ear lobe natin mm-hmm. and then mm-hmm. here din sa may neck, okay? Yung iba, gusto-gusto naglalagay sa kilikili also pag sa batan, ako baka ma-burn po yan 
din dun sa alcohol content ng colognes. Yun. So, yun po yung isa, no? And then, of course, kung bata, very safe naman. So, kung gagamit tayo, cologne din, uh, uh, sorry, ang gagamitin din would be lotion na designed for or formulated for babies. 